So, no success. I thought that perhaps this place... But the decay is the same. Hmm. It could still be possible. from afar? Yes. So you can tell? I knew it. There are some Western peculiarities about the way you talk. I see. So you're familiar with it then? A little. I go there to trade too. Welcome to this barren frontier land. Barren frontier land? That's not true. This place is plentiful. True. For the last few years, the weather's been calm and gentle. But some of the town's water veins have dried up, making it really tough to fill all my orders of grain. The soil's becoming less and less fertile every day. That's why I've been running around so much on deliveries. Hmm. Sorry to bother you when you're so busy with your own business. Oh, no. It's boring to travel alone. So I'm actually glad to have you. It's quite a ways to the next ruin. So please enjoy the ride. See over there? That ruin past the workshop is the one you're looking for. My destination is actually that workshop. It's a medicine shop that's run by a young girl. Hmm. A workshop in a place like this? So it still does exist in this land. Oh. You can drop me off right here. Huh? But we're still pretty far from the ruin. That's fine. I prefer to walk there on my own two feet. To walk on your own two feet? As expected of a scholar, I guess. Scholar? Is that what I look like? Oh, I'm sorry if I was wrong. Since you're investigating the ruins, you're not far off, but I am an alchemist. An alchemist? An isolated workshop on a remote grassy plain. There, a girl lives all alone. Her name is Aisha. Even today, she continues to make medicine by herself. Um, this and that. And mix this powder in to give it a nice fragrance. And... Yup, looks good. When the liquid turns a golden color, then... <laughs> Oops, sorry, Panna. I forgot to give you your breakfast. Here. <laughs> sorry for making you wait. Chew your food and eat slowly. It's not healthy to eat so fast. 